square root. Now, we know that there is an addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction. Right? Similarly, in few of the earlier lecture, we saw square of a particular number, which was computed as that number multiplied by itself. Just like the opposite of addition is subtraction, the opposite of square is square root. So suppose I have a number 25. 25 can also be written as 5 times 5 or 5 square. So we say that square root of 25 is equal to 5. Why? Because 5 when multiplied 2 times gives us 25. So while 25 is the square of 5, 5 is the square root of 25. A bit confusing? Doesn't matter. Let me explain it to you again. Suppose you have 81. Now 81 can be written as 9 into 9. And 81 can also be written as square of 9, 9 square. Right? So 9 square is equal to 81, we can say that the square root of 81 is equal to 9. So square root is basically nothing but a number, square root is a number or rather square root of a number is that number which when multiplied by itself gives first number. Now one important thing that needs to be noted here is that while 81 can be written as 9 times 9, 81 can also be written as minus 9 into minus 9. Why? Because we saw this in the property of multiplication that minus into minus will give you plus and 9 times 9 gives you 81. However, for the purpose of this lecture and whatever we are discussing, we are only discussing the positive integers which when multiplied by themselves gives a particular number. So the square root of a number, what we are discussing and what we will be discussing in the subsequent videos is going to be the number which when multiplied by itself will give you the particular number.